A SOLEMN GOODBYE THIS MORNING TO ONE OF THE VICTIMS OF THIS WEEK'S TRIPLE HOMICIDE IN SOUTH KANSAS CITY. FUNERAL SERVICES HELD TODAY FOR SUSAN SHUKRIN. THE 69-YEAR-OLD WAS SHOT AND KILLED OUTSIDE HER HOME EARLIER THIS WEEK WHEN A GUNMAN OPENED FIRE IN WHAT WITNESSES SAY WAS AN ATTEMPTED CAR THEFT. SERVICES FOR THE TWO OTHERS KILLED, LORREEN AND DARYL HURST, WILL BE HELD MONDAY. AND ANOTHER FAMILY TOUCHED BY TUESDAY'S TRAGIC EVENT SPOKE OUT TODAY FOR THE FIRST TIME. RELATIVES GATHERED AT THE HOME OF GEORGE AND ANN TAYLOR. AND THAT'S WHERE KMBC 9'S PEGGY BRIGHT IS LIVE RIGHT NOW. AND PEGGY, WE KNOW THAT THE TAYLORS WERE SEVERELY BEATEN ON THAT NIGHT. HOW ARE THEY DOING THIS EVENING? Well, they remain in critical condition and on life support tonight, Len. Now, they were the first people that police found when they came to this street because Ann had called 911. She said, help, shotgun, before the line went dead. The couple's conditions grave from the start. Relatives gathered today at their home in a show of strength. They expressed gratitude to police, first responders, doctors and nurses, and everyone who has sent prayers and warm wishes. They say the crimes committed here on Tuesday have brought them to their knees. They say the future is uncertain with the severity of George and Ann's injuries, but they also say they are aching for those who died. Our family would like to send our love and thoughts to the relatives and friends of Ann's and George's neighbors who tragically lost their lives that day. We believe that they were killed trying to support Ann and George, and we are forever grateful. Now, after their statement, some family members went to another neighbor's home to visit her. Lots of hugs and tears for crimes that seem to them to have no purpose. 34 year old Brandon Howell is charged with assaulting Ann and George Taylor and stealing their vehicle, as well as murdering the three other people in the neighborhood who were outside on Tuesday. Police have found no connection between Howell and the people who lived on this block. We're live in South Kansas City. Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News. Howell's next court date is set for September 25th. And there are still several unanswered questions in this case. Several viewers have contacted us asking if Brandon Howell was driven by someone to that neighborhood or if he had worked in that area. Others want to know if the victims were targeted or if the crime was completely random. We have taken your questions to the police and to the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office, and we're still waiting for a response. As soon as we get answers, we will let you know.